Well, hey, good Thursday evening to you. Welcome to the Files One Recap. I'm Mike Stevens. And I'm Megan Vega. Topping the news, a bizarre twist to the story of a Massapequa man feared drowned in the waters off of Jones Beach over the weekend. You say bizarre? That is truly an understatement. Authorities say not only is he alive, but he's turned up somewhere no one expected, about 1,000 miles away in Florida. Now authorities are trying to figure out what really happened. Finals One's Jackie shootack has been working all angles of the story, joining us now live with the very latest. Jackie. All right, Jackie, thank you. It is not the finest hour for one of New York's finest. Just one news. All right, Christy, thank you. A police probe's underway in Bergen County, New Jersey. Two officers are accused of tampering with evidence related to a police chase two years ago. Now, this is video of that chase in Paramus from our partners at The Record. Officers Jeffrey Roberts and Saheed Box chased these suspects through six towns. Box allegedly fired two shots at the suspect. That man has now filed a $17 million civil suit against the county, claiming he was shot while trying to surrender and then beaten during his arrest. Officials say it will take a few days to repair the problem and fill in that hole. A few days to fix the hole, but a lifetime to forget the images <laughs> of that huge crater in there the were street. Actually we have a follow-up now to a story we told you about involving a Jersey City man accused of pushing his ex-girlfriend and their three-month-old son out of an apartment window. The main suspect in the case, 19-year-old Federico Bruno, reportedly walked into a police station the day before the incident. Now, earlier today, I spoke with Mayor Jeremiah Healy, getting his thoughts. I've heard a report of that. Timing of the lights. But not everybody is convinced they're working well now, and they're taking action of their own. Final Swing's Kimberly Wallace joining us now live in Linden with details. Control believes the snakes were released by somebody who possibly moved from the neighborhood. You know, you kind of expect maybe some little garden snakes, depending a on worm, where you live. A garden snake? That python? Shoo. Two. Two. I'd move. Yeah. <laughs> we are following developing news now involving a Jersey City man accused of pushing his ex girlfriend and three month old son out of an apartment window. We've now learned that the baby has died. Authorities say Federico Bruno will now likely face upgraded charges following the child's death. Bruno already faced 17 counts, including attempted murder and child abuse. The 19-year-old was arraigned Monday via closed-circuit TV from Hudson County Jail. He appeared angry and briefly talked to a public defender. His ex-girlfriend remains in critical condition. It's an unwelcome wake-up call for dozens of residents in the New Jersey area after a massive water main break turned roadways into rivers, flooding homes and even a church. It happened in the town of Scotch Plains. Files One's Takesha Thomas is there. Now construction is set for another major artery into the city. And this time, uh, late night commuters can expect delays into the Lincoln Tunnel. Delays and detours that are expected to last for the next couple of years. And again, we say years. <laughs> Final Swans Kimberly Wallace joins us now live from the west side with that story. Kimberly. Yeah, he's alive and well tonight and speaking out about what happened. And boy, does he have a story to tell. As Final Swans Jody Goldberg reports, it's being called nothing short of a miracle. The pregnant six foot long 1,000 pound turtle was freed and swam away to freedom. Interesting to note, she's pregnant, so that means somewhere out there there's another turtle that's at least six, six feet, feet long, 1,000 pounds. 1, pounds. pounds. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's talk about one other thing. Uh, Mayor Bloomberg made some headlines recently about the sugary drinks. I think 16 ounces or above, he wants to get away with it. You now like he's the big talking, up, Mike? I love it, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell. Uh, but the other thing he's talking about now is breastfeeding. All right, thank you for watching the recap. Richard French Live coming up next.